All right, welcome to Out of the Blue, number 494. Um, today, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It is Monday in March, Monday, March 23rd. And um, half the people in the world are sitting at home with nothing to do, and the other half are working overtime and don't have time to think. <laughs> so uh, there's really... <clears throat> something to be said for having something to do during this time. Because if you don't have something to do, you risk losing your mind. <laughs> so my thing is I am a singer. Oh. So uh, I'm going to invite anybody else who wants to learn to sing to listen in and play along and sing along with me um, in my opinion the solution how to not lose your mind which is really the issue for these next two months how to not lose your mind and the answer is to uh, find something you're into and get into it so uh, I'm here on my shoulder today is a couple ventriloquist <laughs> dummies and uh, we might talk about that on a different day but for today we're just going to talk about singing because this is a good opportunity if you ever wanted to learn to sing this first step I'm going to talk about takes about two months and uh, some projections are that we have two months believe it or not I, I find this hard to believe <laughs> that everybody in Chicago is going to sit home for two months but we'll see. Anyway, so we're trying to not lose our minds <laughs> over the next two months. And in order to not lose our minds, we're going to think about and try to find something we're into and get into it. Let's say, for example, you're into animation. You can get a notebook, and on the corner of the notebook, you can draw a little scrolling animation. That'll take a long time, and then you can get better at it and you can do more. But that's just an example. What we're going to do here is we're going to sing. Oh. And the first and most basic skill in singing, and the thing that it takes two months to develop, is uh, to hold a steady note. Because oh. uh, if you can hold a steady note, and another person can hold a steady note, then you can... sing those steady notes together and developing this steady note involves muscles in your throat and it takes a little while to uh, get familiar with these muscles and to be able to use them without straining so we're going to be very relaxed and we're just going to try to sing this note first it might seem unfamiliar uh, but then after you gain a little bit of familiarity you might find yourself you might find that this practice or this exercise brings up long forgotten memories honestly I don't I don't mean to get too heavy right at the beginning but I want to say at the beginning um, what you're in for because and the only way I can really describe it is to use these terms chakra, the chakras, which is a somewhat new agey or yogic or uh, even vague. It's a little bit on the vague side, but it's the only real way I have of describing what I'm about to explain, which is that uh, by learning to sing, at least my own experience in learning to sing was you know, I was focusing here and learning to sing and all these memories, forgotten memories came up. And uh, in the chakra, when people who talk about chakras, they talk about their emotional storehouse for your emotional memories. And so uh, I don't know if this is typical, but I personally had a lot of father issues come up when I learned to sing. And I remembered all these things and I was angry and all kinds of emotions came up. And... Uh, 
thankfully I'm blessed that my father is actually still alive and um, and uh, we didn't really spend much time together after I turned 19 and left home and uh, I learned to sing when I was in my 30s so I was about 36 and uh, he had a way of, of not just me of just like talking down to everybody and he also had a way when we were children of you know if he would raise his voice that like that ended it right don't make pop mad it was our kind of unspoken uh mantra in our house well i ran into pop or pop came over when i was in my you know 36 or so learning to sing and he wanted to just raise his voice and end the conversation and now i was developing my voice and i can i can sing loud at length because of the techniques i use and so he raised his voice, and I raised my voice, and he raised his voice, and my voice, I won. It turned into a, a stupid yelling match between a middle-aged man, me, and his, uh, his uh, aging father. <laughs> and I won, and that had never happened before. Um, and and I, we've since reconciled, but, uh, and I also... I, I feel for the people whose fathers are no longer here because you get these issues and you have to deal with them and and um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel you know and you work through them and they're like they're like uh, something that has to be worked through so anyway that's the overly heavy preface <laughs> to what I'm going to do so what we're going to do is we're going to just work on the beginning of this song Love of the Mountains by Larry Sparks Two trees, two trees on a hillside of a mountain, always looking up towards the sky, reminds me of my papa and my mama, who lived there 80 years before they died. So we have two months, so we're just going to work on that first phrase, and we're going to try to keep a nice, long, steady, clear note. And there's no vibrato. Vibrato is that kind of thing that some people put in their singing. But we're singing more in a mountain music style. So Larry Sparks is a bluegrass singer, and it comes out of the mountain music style. And um, if you want to look at another singer, Hazel Dickens and Alice Gerard are part of this um, style and they sing with a s clear tone and no vibrato but instead of vibrato there's these little steps like this two trees on a hillside of a mountain always looking up towards the sky up towards the sky so while there's no vibrato there's a lot of these little steps here and there and that's somewhat part of the art Two trees on a hillside of a mountain Always looking up towards the sky Reminds me of my papa and my mama Who lived there 80 years before they Lived there 80 years before they died I got two months to get that little change right. <laughs> oh, two trees on a hillside of a mountain, always looking up towards the sky. Remind me of my papa and my mama, who lived there 80 years before they died. And while it also might seem uh, unconnected, there's a thing about smiling while you sing. So you smile with your mouth. Uh, two trees on a hillside of a mountain, always looking up towards the sky. Reminds me of my papa and my mama Who lived there 80 years before they died 
nice calm relaxed steer i mean clear steady note and if you smile it puts your your throat in a good shape for a nice clear note so soft steady clear and uh throw a little smile in there and you're on your way